Stocks start 2019 in the green. Emotion has no place in your investments, so how do you know what news actually matters? Hi, I'm Eric, and in the next few minutes, we're gonna forget the headlines and focus on the facts. Here's what really happened last week. Three encouraging developments brought out the bulls at the end of last week. The federal government's December employment report was one pleasant surprise. Another came when Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said that the central bank was amenable to adjusting monetary policy and would be patient about raising rates this year. Lastly, China announced plans to cut taxes and inject money into its banking system. And additionally, discussions on trade issues with the U.S. would resume this week. Friday, the S&P 500 climbed 3.43% to advance 1% on the new year to 2531. The NASDAQ added 1.56% for the week to reach 67.38 at Friday's close. And the Dow Industrial up 0.45% to settle at 23,433. The latest Department of Labor jobs report suggests an economy with plenty of forward momentum. Employers added 312,000 net new jobs in December, the most in 10 months. The main jobless rate rose 0.2% to 3.9% as more Americans entered the labor force. The U6 rate measuring underemployment held at 7.6%. Last month, wages were improving at a rate of 3.2% per year, an increase of 0.1% from the prior report. November's job gain was revised up to 176,000 from the previously reported 155,000. In December, the Institute for Supply Management's Purchasing Managers Index tracking business activity among the nation's factories dipped to 54.1. This reading indicates healthy expansion for the sector. On the other hand, this was the index's lowest level in 25 months. It was at 59.3 in November. Well, WTI crude oil just snapped a three-week losing streak. Futures settled at $47.96 a barrel on the NYMEX, rising 5.8% in four trading days. Some analysts credited the advance to reduced worries about a recession, citing the excellent December hiring numbers in the renewed U.S.-China trade negotiations. All right, looking ahead at this week, U.S. and Chinese diplomats sit down for further trade discussions in Beijing today, Monday. Stateside ISM releases its December non-manufacturing PMI. Tomorrow, Tuesday, U.S.-China trade meetings conclude, with Wall Street, of course, hoping for progress. The Federal Reserve presents the minutes from its December policy meeting on Wednesday. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell reflects on the economy and monetary policy at the Economic Club of Washington, D.C. on Thursday afternoon. And Fed Vice Chair delivers a speech on the same topics in New York City Thursday night. And then Friday brings December inflation data from the federal government to wrap up the week. Hey, this is Eric again. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you'd prefer to read the transcript each week, you can subscribe to that at www.erichagen.pro. Also, if you'd like to get financially organized, head on over to nocostfinancialdashboard.com and take control of your financial future. Lastly, if you want to find out if you're invested right, visit getinvestedright.com right now. Thank you again for your time today. I'll look for you next week.